Elon Musk could help to save Hubble. After NASA revealed it will study the possibility of running a private astronaut mission with SpaceX to extend the iconic telescope's lifespan. The 32-year-old observatory is slowly losing altitude, and if nothing is done to reboost it then Hubble will eventually fall into the Earth's atmosphere and burn up, most likely in the 2030s. Since it was last serviced by the Space Shuttle in 2009, the telescope has come down by about 15 miles, 25 kilometers. Hubble now circles the Earth at a height of 335 miles, 540 kilometers, but NASA would like to get it back up to 372 miles, 600 kilometers, where it was originally positioned when it was launched in 1990. You'd add easily 15 to perhaps 20 years of orbit life to the mission if we could achieve that altitude, said Hubble project manager Patrick Crose during a press conference. Mission duration. 1991st observation. Jupiter, March 1991, orbit, 333 to 336 miles wavelengths, near infrared, visible light, ultraviolet the feasibility study won't just be limited to this, however. 31 years, 2 months, 8 days manufacturer, Lockheed Martin and Perkin Elmir Mass, 24,490 pounds launch date. April 24, 1990 launch site, Kennedy Space Center, Florida started service, May 20. This could include replacing the gyroscopes used to point the telescope at stars and galaxies, which have previously shown they can fail over time. Last year, it will also examine how Musk's SpaceX might send a commercial crew in one of its Dragon capsules to service some of Hubble's hardware. Engineers had to fix the worst malfunction in years to hit the famous observatory, which has made more than 1.5 million observations, resulting in the publication of some 19,000 scholarly research papers. Experts spent more than a month investigating the cause of a problem with the payload computer, which helps to control the onboard science instruments. This year alone, Hubble has imaged the single most distant star in the universe and the largest comet ever identified. Its successor, the James Webb Space Telescope, was launched on Christmas Day last year and began science operations in July. However, astronomers have always said they anticipate the two observatories working together in tandem for a number of years. The capsule measures about 20 feet tall by 12 feet in diameter and will carry up to seven astronauts at a time. The Crew Dragon features an advanced emergency escape system, which was tested earlier this year, to swiftly carry astronauts to safety if something were to go wrong. Experiencing about the same G-forces as a ride at Disneyland. It also has an environmental control and life support system, ECLSS, that provides a comfortable and safe environment for crew members.